Most people in America are looking for how do I make a life worth living in return with having. When we do these things, we're looking at how do I make my life better? How do I make my life impossible? Not at all. How do I make sure I stay within the lines of the law so that my life goes forward? When a man makes a transition, he makes a transition fully. He doesn't hang out in the middle and go, well, I think I'll just hang here for a while and make everybody accept me as I am. When a man transitions, he moves fluidly across the line into his life and he openly embraces everything in full life balance. So his foundation of his life is based on his faith, whatever that may be, whether he is Muslim or whether he is Christian, whether he is Lutheran, whether he is pagan like me or whether he is Wiccan in some way. People have the right to choose their faith. That's what freedom of religion is in our country. It is the First Amendment. that We have freedom of religion, freedom of assembly, freedom of press, which means they have the right to pursue and we have the right to investigate any aspect of publication we choose to find out more about life, to find out more about liberty, to find out more about our faith and the potential of understanding the Holy Ghost that flows around us, as opposed to the woo-woo stuff that we see in television and in horrible horror films that is not real and should never be embracing our life with. Now what I mean by that is we have rights, and our rights are to have a family. Our family is something that the International Declaration of Human Rights allows us to choose without anyone pushing on us to do something we don't want to do. In that treaty, we also have articles that say we have the right to choose our clinicians, choose our medical practitioners, and no one can force us to do things to our body that we don't want to. Yet we have police officers, we have men and women in the force who think they have the right to practice medicine without a license. They think they have the right to strip us down to our nakedness so they can take a preview of our body. Wasn't the right. Then we have worse of them that will put their religious right friends on us and actually subdue us and shave us and sexually assault us as if it's their right to prove something to us about our nakedness. It's not the right to rape people, is it? But that's what happens in a land that is out of control, totally out of sync with God. And most Catholics are so stupid about the Bible, you just want to hurl. When someone tries to evangelize me, I ask them what church they go to, they can barely tell me. <clears throat> when I ask them what Bible verses they like, they can barely utter them. And yet they have a lot to say about God. And I think, you know, you shouldn't be speaking out of turn. It's always amazing <clears throat> to watch the world move. But today, thankfully, it's not raining, it's not snowing like it was yesterday, or hailing as it was, and we have opportunities to do things. It is a humiliation for me to have to use an, what I like to call an open car to move myself around, but since I have a walking impediment now, thanks to the police department, they ripped the shit out of my knee and an anterior cruciate ligament about four times now, I have a lot of pain in my knee. Who gave him the right to do that when a man is sleeping, and more importantly, who gave him the right to use psychology and other type of immaterial type of military inappropriateness on a whole, total human stranger that's not a part of their life, not a part of their strangerhood, and not a part of their neighborhood. You see, when I make these statements, I don't have to make it perfect because your job is to listen, your job is to learn, and your job is to expand yourself into a social justice-oriented person that says, if you have rights, I have rights. And if I have rights, you have rights. But you have no right to look at me, you have no right to install me into some sort of program that you want for me because you just don't like me. I don't give a shit if you like me. What I care about is if my wife is going to pull her shit out of the, the gutter in which she's put herself into with the six children she's now legally liable for. You see, that was the foolish choice she made, and openly it wasn't what God had for her plan. But now she's screwed into it. Now she's participating in illegal behavior, and I don't like it. Thankfully, she's not lawfully my wife right now, but she was meant to be. Because otherwise, why would I have these gifts? I didn't gain these spiritual gifts until basically God opened them for me and I have them now but you're not going to use them you're not going to benefit from them because you don't believe in God you can barely talk about the Holy Ghost and yet you say there's a trinity this is the dichotomy if you will the falsity of Christianity that you want to be Christian you want to pray for me you want to do things for me without my consent and I never authorize you the right to take a look at me I never authorize you the right to step into my life and I certainly never authorize you the right to steal from me my life's work how dare you steal my angel work? How dare you steal my graphic designs? How dare you steal what took me hours upon hours to put together for my faith fobs, my packaging of that. They did that in a impound where my cart was. They literally took everything apart, took all my fobs apart, took them apart, put them back together in inappropriate ways, and then took all the marketing materials out of those packages. Do you know how many fucking hours it took me to create those packages and create that artwork and create the way to describe how those things work? I cannot believe the children of America that they thought they had the rights to go into someone's car and make a disaster out of the property that was in there, the possessions that they were entrusted to look over.